Hello, Danvers. My name is Claire, and I'm one of the volunteers here at the Danvers Community Access Television and today's host for Danvers Daily. Our guest today is no stranger to our station or to our community. It's none other than our underwriting coordinator, Gayla Bartlett. Hello, Gayla. Hi, Claire. How are you today? I'm doing good. Now, I know you always know what's going on in the community, and there's a special gingerbread house competition. Tell us about it. Absolutely. So this is the first time that Essex Habitat for Humanity has done this. We're very excited. They're actually going to hold the event at Maple Street Congregational Church, downtown Danvers. So they will be um, donating the space. Texas Roadhouse is going to supply all the cookies and cocoa. It is going to be an extravagant affair. There's also going to be an artisan fair. Mm -hmm. um, Maple Street Church will be selling all kinds of great crafts from um, local artisans. So that's very exciting. Mm -hmm. Um, it's going to be so fun. So usually when you go to a Habitat event, they're a gala event. Gala, gala, get it? Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I'm bummed. So it's a big event, right? Mm -hmm. So this is something that families can do together. It's yes. $25 a person, $100 a team, and they're building a gingerbread house. Now, Claire, what's exciting about this is everything is provided. Bah, except imagination and creativity, right? So mm -hmm. they'll give you the house, the frosting, the gumdrops, and the candies. But... It is a competition. Oh, okay. So you know what that means, right? Hmm. You got to bring in your own flair, your own sparkles, your own energy, <laughs> your own motif. So you are given the basics, and then you bring in all that extra magic. So it sounds like there's a lot of activities uh, with the gingerbread and then the, yeah. the other activities as well. Um, if someone wants to just drop in and sign up, can Absolutely. they do that? Absolutely. So we have some spots available. Mm -hmm. So if they want to come as an individual or come as a family, tomorrow we will start registration at 1 o'clock. The competition is 1.30 to 3.30. They will be judged. Oh, my goodness. They're going to be judged on three different categories. So it's going to be very exciting. There are prizes. Mm -hmm. um, so we are hoping if you're not building, you are going to come and cheer on your team. There are some really cute team names like Santa's Helpers, the Elves, all kinds of cuteness. It's going to look like it came out of a Hallmark movie if I have my way. So very excited to uh, have these organizations together to sponsor um, Habitat for Humanity. And did you know, Claire, who's going to film it? I wonder. Could it be DCAT? <laughs> uh, so DCAT will be on site doing the actual filming of the event. So mm -hmm. it'll be more like a cooking competition kind of thing. So we're excited to bring that back to DCAT after the um, production is done. Mm -hmm. So exciting. So is this anything like the giant pumpkins at the uh, Topsfield Fair? They're gingerbread houses to scale? Oh, I wish. <laughs> no. Um, they're like probably going to be this big. Um, but they'll be very cute. Mm -hmm. And it, you know what's so cute about it is that you can have families, you can have a group of girlfriends, guys, whatever, um, business colleagues, anybody can build a team and make it. Mm. So if you want to come with your with one person and it'll be a team of two, that's okay. Mm -hmm. If you want to build by yourself, that's okay too. Um, you don't have to have a team of four. Uh, we just thought it would be easier. But you know what? Some people are so creative, they could just, whoop win the whole thing with one person. And what happens once it's built, where do they go? They go home with the people. All righty, so sounds you get to like take a good this, deal. Yeah, you get to take this masterpiece home with you. It can be the centerpiece for Christmas dinner. It could be given to a loved one. You could do anything you want with it. That's great. And Gayla, um, you're one of my favorite activists in the community. You've Thank done you. a lot with Habitat for Humanity. And I wonder if you'd tell us, uh, our viewers, how they could become involved with the general activities of Habitat. Absolutely. So Essex Habitat for Humanity is always looking for volunteers. So you know we were on the Women's Build set together. Yes, it was a great experience. Um, so they are building. You can go on the Build site. You can volunteer to help coordinate events. You can volunteer to do so many different things mm -hmm. with Habitat. So you just go to their website, um, EssexHabitatForHumanity.org. You can check out all the activities, events, the gingerbread house decorating contest. Click right on that link. Mm -hmm. Or if you just want to donate, you can do that too. They do have a restore that's in Lawrence. Um, you can volunteer your time there as well. So, so many great opportunities. Great. And I've been blessed to be a part of uh, actually doing the Women's Build mm -hmm. and when they asked me if I would help with this fundraising activity, I was like, yes, Piece gingerbread, of cake, right? gingerbread so. magic. Oh, so exciting for the holidays. Mm -hmm. That's great. And you know there'll be photo opportunities, right? So bring your cameras. 
Um, mm -hmm. You can go shopping, eat some cookies and cocoa. It's just going to be so cute. Yes. And Texas Roadhouse will be selling gift cards there, too. So if you need more holiday shopping, you can come and visit and purchase gift cards, too. So a lot of magic. It's great to get into the Christmas spirit. Yeah. So, Gayla, thank you for telling us about it. It's 1 o'clock on Saturday the 9th. It's tomorrow. Tomorrow. I had to keep pinching myself going, oh, my goodness, it's tomorrow. And the it's magic the is tomorrow. Congregational Church. Maple Street Congregational Church downstairs in the social hall. Mm -hmm. Oh my, I have a lot of elf magic to create before this happens tomorrow. Oh, that's great. So, so stop by, sign up, and have some fun. Thank you for tuning in, uh, viewers, and we'll see you next time.